Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Open Views 2023. We're thrilled to have all of you here one more year to talk about the biggest transformation that the financial sector has seen, seen in years, open finance. We're extremely excited to welcome you to this two-day event where some of the most relevant individuals across the financial ecosystem will join us to discuss how new data sharing and payment initiation models are reshaping financial services in Latin America. You'll be able to watch all panels, fireside chats, and workshops, which will be streamed directly on our YouTube channel. Some great content to look out for includes discussions with leading financial institutions like BBVA, Santander, Da Vivienda, or City, where they'll share their vision and roadmaps around open finance, in-depth fireside chats with relevant players like Mercado Libre, TransUnion, and Nubank, where we'll learn more about their strategies and goals, conversations with regulators and experts from Brazil, Mexico, and Colombia, where we'll learn, learn what's coming in terms of regulation in each market, a look at what's happening in the global fintech ecosystem with leading VC funds and representatives from leading open finance companies such as Tank or TrueLayer, and finally, practical workshops with Belvo experts to take a closer look at some specific use cases when building open finance-based solutions like how to make smarter credit decisions or how to leverage machine learning to improve income estimation. The goal of OpenViews is to create a space to share, debate, and understand how these models are transforming a whole industry and opening up new opportunities for both established institutions and emerging players. Since we started operating in the market, we've been seeing how open finance has become a catalyst for financial innovation in the region. A growing number of companies and millions of users are already benefiting from a new way of accessing and interpreting financial data. And now, increasingly, from moving money thanks to open finance. But today, we wanted to put our focus on the latter. When we think of open finance, we, we often think of access to financial data and how it can be used to provide better financial services to customers. However, we believe that payments are the next frontier in open finance. When we launched our data aggregation and enrichment solutions, they had a transformational effect as they gained traction, allowing companies to create and launch financial products based on user data and insights not available to them before. And we believe that we're again on the verge of a new turning point. We've already built the pipes to access financial data from multiple sources in Latin America, and then our enrichment capabilities help companies better understand their end users' financial behavior in the blink of an eye. Now, we're also helping companies connect to financial accounts to seamlessly and efficiently process payments from account A to account B across the region. Allowing companies in Latin America to send and receive funds direct account-to-account -account payments with lower costs and much improved UX is already having a transformational effect on what our customers can build and ship thanks to open finance. This is creating yet a new product category in Latin America, open finance payments, where end users go through similar open finance-based journeys to connect their bank accounts and make payments, unlocking countless possibilities for financial innovators. And this comes at the right moment as account-to-account -account payments are experiencing increasing growth worldwide. While account-to-account -account payments have long existed in some shape or form, they're taking off today when executed over real-time payment rails, thanks to open banking models, are making them a lot better than they were before. Globally, account-to-account e-commerce payments accounting for nearly $525 billion in transaction volume. And they are projected to grow at 13% annual growth rate until 2026. At the same time, the use of credit card payments for e-commerce is expected to decline globally in the next three years. What are the reasons behind this change? Uh, first of all, merchants are drawn to account-to-account -account payments as they reduce the costs of acceptance versus cards while offering an instant settlement of funds. Second, new account-to-account -account rails offer a much better user experience when compared to more traditional banking rails. Third, consumers are drawn to account-to-account -account payments by their safety 
simplicity, and speed. And finally, as a result, a counter account is emerging as a force in person to business payments. And this shift is also taking place in Latin America with a combination of lower costs for merchants and near universal accessibility via cell phones, the share of account to account payments in e-commerce TPV grew by 71% between 2021 and 2022, driving its regional share from 11% to 15% of total e-commerce TPV. By 2026, the share in e-commerce is expected to account for roughly 22%. And this growth is expected to continue with account to account payments projected to grow regionally at a CAGR of also 22% between 2022 and 2026, almost double compared to the growth rate globally. And Latin America seems to be an optimal breeding ground for these new payment methods for a series of reasons. The region has some of the highest interchange fees for credit card payments globally. There are high levels of payment related fraud and there is the existence and availability of real-time payment rails set up by the central banks to allow for the transfer of funds. One of the most famous examples is Brazil's PIX, which was launched in 2020. It is already consolidated as the country's most used payment method with 26 billion transactions already processed. For e-commerce, it is the second most used method and it is accepted by 90% of the payment platforms in the country. As of last year, the success of this model has a new factor to help it grow even more, open finance payment initiation. Estimates predict that by 2024, the value of PIX payments will correspond to 36% of Brazil's GDP. And in Colombia, by the end of 2022, account-to-account -account payments already surpassed credit cards as the number one payment method used in e-commerce, representing 38% of the total number of transactions versus 34% of cards. Colombia may actually see even greater growth in account-to-account -account payments in 2023 and beyond if new and more modern account-to-account -account payment methods are implemented. That's the hope of the Colombian FinTech Association who in 2022 engaged in discussions with the central bank in both Colombia and Brazil to discuss building rails similar to PIX in Colombia. And at Belvo, we've already built two products that connect to some of these banking payment rails, both in Brazil and Colombia, enabling a growing number of use cases where users can initiate payments directly from their bank accounts. Now, let's take a look at how companies are using these products. These are some of the use cases that we're already seeing great adoption for. One, there's e-commerce checkout. Two, we see wallet top-ups. And three, we see credit and loan collection processes. Let's take a closer look at the two last examples with some of our customers. In Brazil, our open finance payment initiation product allows users to initiate instant payments inside third-party environments with less friction and better UX than traditional PICs or boletos. These improvements ensure improved conversion rates, an optimized user experience, and enhanced security. And compared to card top-ups, this flow is much more cost-effective for merchants. Bipa, a platform to buy and sell crypto, was one of the first Belvo customers to go live. In addition to offering a, sm a smoother flow to the end user who will complete the transaction in fewer steps and with automatic redirects, open finance payments brings a significant increase in operational security for both end user and merchant, along with all the requirements of Banco Central as it uses regulated customer authentication methods to initiate the transaction. In Colombia, our open finance payments product reduces the time required to complete payments via PSE or Pagos Seguros en Línea. Specifically, if the traditional process required up to 10 steps, our product reduces it to just four, helping more end users successfully complete payments. A clear example of this is Monet, a Colombian fintech focused on providing instant salary advances to employees in Colombia. The company has incorporated Belvo's product 
to streamline its end user's experience when making loan repayments on its platform. This new model benefits both sides of the market. On the one hand, users can easily choose the bank from which they wish to make a payment and do it in simple steps, always with the peace of mind that the payment will be confirmed directly through their bank, which reduces the risk of fraud. And for merchants and financial service providers, it enables improved conversion rates over current methods of accepting online payments, such as credit cards. In addition, the solution allows users to register their bank details just once and reuse them for future recurring transactions, which makes it even easier to adopt and use. We already have dozens of companies using and launching our payments products into their platforms and are super excited to see the impact it has on their operations and future growth. And besides talking about payments, we also wanted to use this opportunity to, to highlight some of the most interesting use cases of open finance data that we're seeing at Belbo from companies that you'll also be hearing from during open views. To show you a bit of not only the future, but already how the present of open finance adoption is looking in the region. Our platform has experienced outstanding growth in the last year, not only in the number of customers working with us, but also in the nature and size of these companies. We're now working with nearly 200 companies across Brazil, Mexico, and Colombia. Some of these companies in include players like Mercado Libre, currently the biggest tech company in the Latin American market, large accounting and ERP firms, as well as a growing number of financial institutions. This last segment represents an increasing portion of our customer base, which proves the growing interest in open finance coming from large established players, both incumbents and modern players like neobanks. The growing size and scale of the companies that want to work with us is also a promising sign in terms of future growth and use of our platform. To date, our platform has already processed and enriched over 1 billion transactions and over 5 million people and businesses have already connected their financial accounts to Belbo powered apps and services. One of these services is Mercado Libre, a company that you'll be hearing from during open views and that we're working with in both Brazil and Mexico. We consider it to be a perfect example of how to use open finance. Why? Well, let's look at how they're benefiting from using Belbo. Mercado Libre's credit branch, Mercado Credito, needed a complementary source of data to strengthen the risk model to increase the volume of loans they offer to merchants working with its e-commerce platform. The company now offers merchants in Brazil and in Mexico the possibility to share their banking data through Belbo to better assess their credit worthiness. Now, after implementing open finance data aggregation and enrichment, they obtain amazing results. And we're showing here some of them. 25% more of their new customers accepted a credit line after connecting open finance data. And more than 55% of their existing customers got a credit line increase after sharing data through Belbo. Lastly, we'd like to also talk about what's coming from us and for open finance in the region. One of the main benefits of open finance is how it's completely transforming how lenders can assess risk in Latin America. From relying almost exclusively on outdated and incomplete data from coming from credit bureaus, now companies have a wider and more accurate picture of their customers' financial eligibility and affordability. One key element of this shift is the improved process of income verification through open finance data a use case that is especially valuable in the context of Latin America, where informal work is high, credit history is thin at best, and traditional information such as bureau data can either be non-existent or incomplete. With new data points and data sources available on, and the constant improvement of our proprietary machine learning models, Belvo customers are able to accurately gauge income and predict affordability and financial behavior for their users, resulting in stronger credit risk models 
that allow for higher approval rates and fewer defaults. We'd also like to share some of the improvements we've recently done to our income verification product. Our income verification engine is now able to differentiate between 10 different income categories, including things like freelance, salary, rent, interests, and even retirement. This provides lenders with a wider and more accurate picture of all the different types of income streams that a person can have, improving the accuracy of underwriting processes and the tailoring of credit offers. We now also provide a series of metrics that help lenders get even more granularity on the nature of customers' income, including the type of income, whether it's a salary, a pension, rent, et cetera, the frequency, um, what's the monthly average, the average income amount, and also the description of such a transaction. And it also goes beyond just basic income metrics to offer in-depth and enrich metrics and variables, such as the stability in the income stream, the regularity of the income stream, what is the trend of the income over time? Is it growing? Is it declining? Is it flattening out? And lastly, how confident the lender can be about the applicant receiving their income in the future. Some of these variables also act as filters, meaning that lenders can easily filter their applicants according to specific criteria to speed up approval processes. For instance, they can automatically filter their applicants based on the type of income and its regularity for a specific campaign, allowing them to get more accurate results. And in addition to improving the metrics we provide to understand income, we're also continuously adding to our platform new sources of data that add yet another layer of information to complement current scoring models. And that is particularly relevant for applicants with limited credit history. This is the case for the connection we've built with IMS in Mexico, a connection that is already available on our platform. The connection to IMS enables Belleville to help close this huge gap in Mexico, as the social security data provides an alternative way to verify the payment cap capacity of the unbanked population or those without a traditional credit history. In addition, this product speeds up the credit approval process and allows for customized credit offers and payment options based on workers' actual employment status with data that is updated in real time. And this is not the only employment source of data we've built. We will be launching very soon integrations to retrieve employment data from public workers in Mexico through our connection to ISTE and employment data from all Brazilian population by connecting to INS in Brazil. Finally, we wanted to close with some thoughts about payments. As we mentioned earlier this year, we launched our first open finance payments products in Brazil and also in Colombia, which are already helping dozens of companies accept instant account to account payments with better UX. But this is really just the beginning. In the last year, we've taken steps in the three markets where we operate to become the most complete solution for account to account payments. This includes obtaining our IFPE license under the Mexican FinTech law to be able to process account to account payments through our platform. It also includes the launch of our open finance payments product in Colombia that is helping companies accept faster and cheaper payments via Pago Seguros en Línea or PSE. And in Brazil, we obtained an ITP license that allows us to offer payment initiation through open finance. And very recently, we also did our first acquisition in the country with the goal of expanding our product portfolio to also include PIX payments. Thanks to this, we'll soon be able to offer pay-ins and payouts through PIX and unlock new payments use cases, including the possibility of holding funds in Belvo accounts where payments can easily be received and dispersed. And with that, we'd like to pass it over to real protagonists of OpenViews 23, the builders, the doers, and the innovators. We've got a packaged two-day agenda to listen to the growth stories of the people building the future of finance in Latin America. To follow practical discussions focused on the use cases, regulatory updates, and opportunities Open Finance presents for the region in the years to come. 
And of course, connect with people and businesses to identify collaboration opportunities in the region. Everything will be streamed directly on our YouTube channel. So sit back and we hope you enjoy the event.